Hey guys and welcome to today's first impressions video. Today we're looking at Sphere Flying Cities. This is another city builder with a story. The story is a bit far-fetched but then it's sci-fi. I'd be a bit concerned if it wasn't. With a really interesting concept for what you're trying to do. How you're able to survive what it's saying you survived makes literally no sense. So if you can get past that first initial roadblock the game is pretty fun and pretty standard as most city builders go. You need to collect the right resources and you need to be able to build the right buildings in order to care for your colony and see how big you can make it. But unfortunately, the tutorial isn't quite up to par and I'll explain why when we get into the game. First, though, we'll look at the settings. Um, a fairly robust settings feature here, although doesn't really give you much to go on like you've got your overall quality and then you've got shadow quality shadow distance which is just a number you can type in which seems a bit silly and then your cloud quality down here as well you've got your audio bars which are you know there's a fair amount of them there gameplay so you can have auto saving into interval which is really nice your camera settings your map settings and your auto pause settings which is again fairly decent um, your controls. What I will say is the controls are a little bit finicky in that you try and move in a certain way or to a certain area and it like super zooms in or it super moves really quickly. It's a bit sensitive with the movement. Um, also, even though I've got this on Ultra, it runs fairly well, but it does seem like some of the cutscenes are a little bit laggy. Um, again, my system is a 2060 Super on this machine with a Ryzen... 7 3600x so it's not a bad cpu and it's not a bad gpu but it is struggling a little bit in some of the cutscenes so optimization could be better there and then miscellaneous your language and your dlc which i didn't know there was dlc for this game but there you go there apparently is so let's load into the game and see what this is all about shall we Okay, so we're in the game. I have paused it because I wanted to show you around the area. So you've got your main hub here, which is your anti-gravity device, which is the whole reason why you're able to do the things you do. And you've got a shield radius and a shield strength. Um, I think that you can upgrade these buildings and stuff as you go through, making it so that it is stronger as you go. Um, I've increased the radius because some of the buildings it's asking you to buy are quite large, and I don't really want them being destroyed by, like, like your, your disasters you get like particle storms that come in every now and again um as you can see i've got many old colonists but i had to rebuild my health zones and stuff because of issues which is one of the problems with the tutorial the tutorial is okay but it leaves out key information so it will here you know build a mining drone hub and start natural you know mining natural resources which is fine, but it doesn't tell you how to build. You've got to just kind of work it out. Now, I've played a few city builders, so I need to come down to the tool menu, see build, go through the options, etc. But there are things that it tells me to do that I'm not used to, like scanning the area. It doesn't tell you where to scan the area. What you've got to do is come down here and then click on your, your area where you are, and then you can scan your surroundings if you so desire. That's what you've got to do for the tutorial bit. But it doesn't tell you how to do that. It doesn't open this and say, to scan an area, you do this, this, and this. Um, to fly, you've got to set your path and stuff. So it's a little bit jarring because it kind of, it, it tells you to do something and you can't do that, you know, you can't move on with the tutorial and move to the next stage until you've done that one thing. So I had the same issue with placing things. When you build something, if we take a housing area here, take a single target resident, you see the arrow? That's got to connect to a road. Now, a lot of these roads were cream crackered when I first started, so I just kind of built anywhere. And I had like 14 housing residents, but nothing was working. And the reason why it wasn't working is because it wasn't connected to anything. And it doesn't tell you how to actually like connect it to something. And the way that it works is you've got to make sure that your your arrow is facing it and the way you do that is by pressing your middle mouse button to rotate it but it doesn't tell you that it doesn't give you that information if you're going into a city builder for the first time 
it could sp it could ruin the game for you because you need to know how to do these things and unfortunately a lot of these city builders kind of rely on the fact that you'll have probably placed you know played a city builder before so you kind of naturally go to that because it's the go-to setting but it's not very new player friendly which is a bit of a problem graphics wise it looks incredible it really does it looks very impressive again the concept of it is a bit far-fetched but it's sci-fi do what you want um so we've got to mine resources we've got to build a mining drone and then build build uh resources so i'm gonna guess it's resource and construction we want a mining drone hub um we want it connected to the road so we're gonna put it there now your speed ups in the left hand corner i would very highly recommend you do that if you want to get rid of the item that you're currently doing you right mouse button click it's very cool the way it builds it as well you've got this little drone that comes out of nowhere and just builds it from nothing outside of the concept i don't think there's much that really sets this apart from other city builders um it, it's you know it, it's the same you you've got your one colony which you're going to build on this big rock so you're only going to have limited space unless you make the rock bigger or something i don't know i'm very early into this um so you've got all this limited space that you've got to like work around and build this colony and then you go around the globe and you you have to like you know you've got this globe you've got all this area around here you you can't go around oh you can so again you hold the middle mouse button to to circle you've got all this landmass that you've got to go and explore it's on a hexagonal grid hexagonal grid so there's lots of resources for you to get it's interesting but it's also very samey like again there's not much in this game that i haven't already done in city builders now i enjoy city builders so I'm going to enjoy playing this game. But you, if you're new to this, and with the fact that the tutorial leaves out so much of the key information, like, I've now got to figure out how I mine, right? And apparently that means I'm losing shield power, I think. So if we switch that on, resource mining, game over. Okay, cool. So I died. I was doing what the tutorial told me, and I died because I went beyond what the tutorial was telling me and I ran out of power and the shield fell off and then it's instant death and you, you can load back from a previous save or you start again. So yeah, maybe having a set tutorial on its own where you can't die and it teaches you all of the fundamentals and the, the increments and you can't buy other things, like you unlock them as you go. So having the freedom to build what you want is all cool but if you're new to it and you're just building random things and you overbuild like i did and you don't build the power supply to support that then you can die instantly and i haven't even got to grips with the rest of this game yet and i've already died because i built extra so i don't know maybe maybe a proper tutorial would would suit this game better uh, to enable newer players to not fall into those sorts of traps Overall, though, not bad. Pretty standard as city builders go. Nothing amazing to shout home about. This concept's a little bit eh. But solid. A fairly solid attempt. You know, it's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. But yeah. Leave a comment in the comments down below, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is sort of city builder for you. Um, feel free to like the post as well. Feed the uh, algorithm and see if we can't get this game out there also don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already we hit 900 followers today just before recording this video video which is fantastic if we can get to a thousand by the end of the year that would be amazing thank you so much for your support and i shall see you all next time ciao ciao